today we will be discussing about types of coding okay there are two types of coding the first one is linear block code linear block code and second one is convolution code these two types of coding are implemented in digital communication system the convolution code these two types are implemented in digital communication question system okay if any problem please comment in the comment section okay to first of all we will discuss in discuss about linear block code okay let's write in short form linear block code here we will be given generator matrix let us represent generator matrix by g this is the matrix that encodes the message if we have got three bit message then our number of columns should be three okay let me write it three bit message for for three bit message there should be three number of columns okay and your number of sorry number of columns uh, number of rows let me write number of rows sorry number of rows there should be three number of rows for three bit message encoding there should be three number of rows and number of column depend on what should be the length of encoded message okay let not talk about that first of all let us write generator matrix generator matrix first part will be identity matrix 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay no problem at all first part should be identity matrix next part should be parity part you can write anything as you like i'll write here 1 1 0 0 1 1 and 1 0 1 okay you can write anything so from here you can deduce what is parity matrix okay leave this part this is identity matrix as i have told you and this is parity matrix which is called p is equal to 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 what is this this is this part okay notice properly this is this part this is a parity matrix so here the transpose of parity matrix is 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 why we have deduced the parity matrix we have deduced the parity matrix <coughs> so that it can be used while decoding the message okay at the transmitter side or at the sender side only generator matrix will be used so these are not of use in transmitter side but at receiver side this will come in use so what should be sent to the receiver side in order to decrypt the message is the next matrix which is h matrix here h matrix is just opposite of g matrix in g matrix the first part was identity matrix here second part will be identity matrix 0 <coughs> 0 1 0 0 0 1 so for what will be the first part first part will be transpose of p okay 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 done this should be sent to h factor should be sent to receiver site generator matrix will be used in transmitter site done what we have assumed here our length of message bit should be three that's why we have used three bit message three number of rows three number of rows is used for four bit message we will have we'll have to use four bit row number of column does not have any restriction you can use any number of column depending upon the length of message you want to send more number of column means more encryption of the message only i have used six number of columns now let us take us let's take an example okay let message to be sent b message to be sent b one one zero okay one one zero let message to be sent to one one zero so <coughs> our matrix c is equal to 
this is I don't know what is C but C means message to be sent okay C is message vector into generator matrix which is equal to 1 1 0 into what is generator matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 identity matrix and parity matrix 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 so what will be the output is 1 1 0 1 0 1 right our output will be this matrix now during decrypting if this message is sent without any error if this message is sent without any error then receiver will detect zero output okay first let, let's do this you will understand as vector okay mm. we can do this in this way okay here the output at the receiver side what will be provided to output this s vector will be provided to output so vector s and what will be our message vector c will be our message right vector c will be our message so now we have to calculate here syndrome this is called syndrome calculation syndrome okay we have to calculate here syndrome this is called s if our message is received without any error then our syndrome will be zero if it is received with some error then our syndrome will be something else except zero are you getting all this okay if not getting then please comment what is our receive message let us consider we have received without any error then our syndrome will should be zero okay here should be as transpose right syndrome should be equal to c so we have got our h matrix now we can find out h transpose 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 this is our s transpose matrix now let's calculate 1 means this part 1 means this part and one means this part and one means this part so let's add that okay <coughs> one plus one zero one plus one zero uh, one plus one zero so we have received our syndrome zero 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 is it so yes so the message is received without any error if we have got error in this bit let's consider that our let's write this r okay our receive message let's consider r is if vector r is equal to vector c then this will happen if r is equal to 1 1 0 1 1 1 i have made error in this bit this bit okay one we have made error in the 1 2 3 4 5 fifth bit now let's calculate syndrome 1 1 0 1 1 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 last syndrome is not equal to 0 this is equal to something else 0 1 0 where does it resemble in the s transpose matrix 0 1 0 in seventh bit that means error is in the seventh bit this is how we can calculate the error by using linear block code okay this is also a syndrome calculation so next video will be for convolution code okay please subscribe the channel and if any doubt comment in the comment section thank you